What up, YouTube family? How y'all doing today? Um, I'm going to have to create me an intro for these Amazon reviews. But I got four review videos I'm going to put up. One is going to be, the well, the first one's going to be on this little flashlight buddy right here, this little keychain flashlight. I got two different those, so they'll have their own reviews. Um, next will be the these bad boys right here. Love these. Um, and I bet mechanics will also love these as well, too, once I let you know what they are. Um, there's one part I don't like about them, but I'll, I'll put that later in the video. And then I'm going to review a product which my soon-to-be ex-girlfriend, which hopefully by the time she sees this, she's my ex. Um, uh, JK. <laughs> Not JK Rowling, Jake. Just kidding. Okay. So we got another review on that. So, the first one we're going to review is, you can look at the screen right there, it is a Roy Vaughn 3rd Aurora, uh, Aurora A1 LED flashlight chain, rechargeable flashlight, 650 lumens. Now, I will tell you this right now, this little small flashlight is literally the size of a battery. It's literally the size... Ah, oh, crap. I don't have any batteries around me. Uh, that's not going to work. And uh, dang it. Okay. So for more clarification, um, it is about the small size of a double A battery, but if we was to put this right next to each other, basically, boom, the same size as this USB drive, right? The same size, right? And like I said, it's about the same size as a, a AA battery. Now, this light, if you wanna burn yourself, get it. It's sensational because this thing is so damn bright that the tip, if left on, like if you can see on mine's, mine's actually melted. And that's that's what I don't uh, and that's one thing I don't like that the light does get so bright even on low setting it produces a lot of heat now this light right here has the little clip on here so you can either clip it onto your hat or you can clip it onto your shirt so you won't lose it you know what I'm saying now when it clips onto your hat you press the button ask like a light okay now this thing has four modes four lighting modes it's got low light medium light, bright light, and then very bright light, which is the 650 lumens. Um, it sounds like it's pretty accurate as far as like the lumens are concerned. It sounds like the lumens are very, very accurate. Um, I will say that with this keychain thing right here, um, you can put it on your keychain. You won't have to worry about, you know, losing it or anything like that. Um, but yeah, dude, that product that I'm gonna reveal for y'all that my girl got me, it smells so good. I'm trying not to focus on it. Oh man, it smells, it's, it's amazing. Anyways, so basically you press this light right here. Now you can press and hold it and it will turn on a light for you to like use as a, you see how bright that is? I'm gonna shine it back there. It gets really, really bright. So if you press and hold it, it basically goes to, I think setting number two. Remember, there's four settings on here. So automatically it'll go to setting number two. Um, now, if you double press it, it'll start out. See, this is setting number one, okay? And I know you can't barely see it hardly, but that's kind of the point. So setting number two, this will be setting number two. Setting number two is pretty bright. Now, it, it's, it's, it's not like colossally bright. But it's it's one of us stealth. The one before that is stealth. Now, the thing is, you can't go backwards through the light settings. So you, when, every time you press this light, it just goes up to the next higher setting. So to go back to the lower setting, you have to cycle through all the light settings. So this is number three, which is just a little bit of difference, right? And then here's number four. Oh, okay, I'm tripping. That was number two. So this is number one. This is number one light setting. This is a super, super low light setting. This is your stealth. And then you got number two, number three, and number four, which is ridiculously bright. 
I'm not even going to aim it at my face because this thing can literally blind your eye. I kid you not. Uh, this small thing can actually light up a room. Problem with this light is that it gets super hot on the tip so much so that it ends up melting the screen. Now, what I do like about this light is the simple fact that it is small. It is, you can put it on your keychain. So, you know, portability and stuff like that. So say for instance, you need a flashlight on hand, you can just pop this bad boy on there and boom, you be on your way, right? Now, let, let's take a look at the, this one look like it's a USB C, is that a B? It looked like a C. So the newer model has the USB C on it. Yeah. So the newer model has the USB C. I got the older model that has the USB uh, A, that has the micro USB A on there. So I got the older model of this. I do like the newer model. The older model I got was like on sale for like 10 bucks, I think, at the time. Um, the newer models do have this USB-C right here, okay? If we can take a look at that real quick. So it got the USB-C on there. I like that, I like that. Uh, and, and while we're looking at this right here, now there is something in this picture that really pisses me off about this. Now, my cons are it's super bright light, it's ultra portable, about the size of a battery. Um, and it has the clip on there. What I don't like about it is the cover. It's hard to get the cover off. Sometimes you need to, I need to use another key or some type of pen or sometimes even my knife, I have to dig in there just to get the cover off. So I will say that's one thing I don't like about it is that it's the difficulty of getting that, that cover off. Uh, the second thing I don't like about it is how it gets hot at the really, really tip. It gets hot very, very fast at the tip. And third of all is the battery life. Um, I can use mine on and off for a couple of days and have to end up recharging it. But if I use it a lot within one day, sometimes within a couple of hours, it'd be done. So I did a test on here and that's the reason why this melted on here because after 30 minutes, I turned it off. It The thing was basically melting. Uh, it even got to the point where I seen some smoke coming out of it. Now, I, here's the pocket clip I was talking about that it has on there. Nice little pocket clip. I do like that on there. Sorry about that. Let's see here. It shows here that the clip is going down at the bottom. I like putting it on the middle. You, you got three notches where you can literally put that clip on there. That's three notches right there. So you can put that clip on there like that. Uh, let's see what else. Yep, press and hold to enter high mode. Okay. And that LED is very, very powerful. And now look here. It shows right here that this does is about the size of of a double-a battery basically you gotta it's basically like just a double-a battery with the housing of the flashlight around it that's basically what it is and so like i said this thing is bright and like it says here is a uh, moon low medium and high it is super super bright if i was you i'd go ahead and get this flashlight this is like the newer version so there's probably a lot of stuff they did fix with it that I had to deal with in my version. Now, upgraded USB-C port, so this is the third generation. I have the second generation one right here. Um, it can fully charge within 60 minutes, which is actually pretty good because it probably lasts almost double that time. Um, it says here they have put a monetary on mode with lock mode on the small flash it said long press for five seconds to enter lock mode no worry worry about accidentally turning on the flashlight in your pocket or elsewhere me i don't have to worry about that because i always keep it around my keys so i really don't have to worry about you know turning it on and off like that but i will say this is a little quick review i will say get this bad boy right here because you will love it you will definitely love it and next we're going to review this uh, or a similar product to this one all right, then. Stay safe out there, fam. Before I smack you in the face, see you later.